I lose, I quit. Today's video is gonna be the second I lose, I quit video. The one I did a few days ago, I think lasted like 25 minutes. The main champion of that one was gonna be Rhonda. Today's video, we're gonna be using Crutraxa. So if you missed the previous video, or you don't know what I mean by I lose, I quit, well, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna try some live arena content with Crutraxa being a consistent pick throughout, and if I lose a match, I quit the video. This video could be five minutes, or it could be an hour and a half. I have no clue. Obviously, you guys know because you can look at the timestamp. You can look at the duration of the video. But for me, I have absolutely no clue how long it's going to be. I guess the biggest challenge for me is going to be getting this video to at least eight minutes so I can put some mid-roll ads in it, right? But who knows? It could be a five-minute match now or five-minute video. Now, with that said, I do want to make the video somewhat, I guess, informational, um, entertaining, something. So this first match is going to be a warm-up which is actually pretty good because this guy is also pretty good if it's the actual player who I think it is. So first match is going to be a warm-up. If we lose this first match, not a big deal. And if we go into the second match and we lose again, well, <laughs> it's just going to be too bad, I guess. So at that point, I would just uh, quit the video, rip the rest of the content. But today, let's go ahead and pick our girl, Crew Traxa. Actually, maybe let's wait a second. Actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. We'll pick Crew Traxa very early. She is so good versus UDK, not Inithui. Inithui's good, kind of, but uh, not going to be using him today. So, Krutraxa, she makes UDK irrelevant. She makes Rodos deleted. She is actually pretty impressive, okay? So, three support champions already picked. I wonder if this is the actual Slar, the guy who I think is, like, super, super good. Very good gear, very good champions, very whaley, very kraken. Maybe it's not, maybe it is, I don't know. But next champions we're going to pick, I could go with Sifi Rodos, or I could go with UDK. UDK, not an excellent counter to Kandrafon, but a pretty good counter to uh, Rodos, if he picks a Rodos in the end, which he very well could, because he has Sifi there. So we'll actually go UDK. The issue there, actually, is now I only have one res champion, and that is my Duchess. So actually, let's go let's go Rodos, and then let's go Mighty Uko. Mighty Uko is going to be another res champion. Pretty decent against Rodos. He's probably going to pick Rodos. Let me 99% search and he's going to pick Rodos. Actually, 97%. Go ahead and select him. Mighty Uko is okay against Rodos. Oh, look. There we go. It's like I, it's like I know what's going to happen here. Sifi, Duchess, Rodos, can't, uh, Necrit. And then this last spot is, hey, do you have a Warlord? Do you have a Yumiko? What do you have? That's what we're going to use. So as far as this team goes, I think I'm going to take out their weakest link and take out the Duchess, honestly. So the Duchess is going to veil. The Duchess is going to increase attack. Be super annoying. He's probably going to take my Duch my Necrit. Okay, Necrit is gone for me. Very interesting. So his Sifi may be fast, but it won't really matter because the veil isn't there no more. So we're going to put Duchess in the lead. She has a little bit higher Polymorph Blessing, so that's going to be, hopefully, the play to make here. Um, unfortunately, my um, the Sifi is going to just cleanse the Rotos. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to keep the block debuffs on the Rotos, but... It might not be a huge deal. May not be that much of a problem. I don't know, but we're about to find out. We do have my Duchess, which is great. She will be going before the Rodos, which, I mean, should be going before the Rodos. I would love to play some stuns. Okay, she doesn't go... Okay, interesting. So she goes for the stun on Mighty Uko, who has block debuffs. I'm a big fan of that play. So I'm going to go in with the A2. Don't strip any buffs, but maybe get something on the Seafy, which I didn't. Uh, got a stun on the Necrit, which is okay. Um, with this, I kind of want to just snipe down this Rotos. I don't think I can kill him, though, to be honest. My Rotos can probably do some work versus... Actually, let's see if we can kill this Kandrafon. Yo! He just, he says none of that. None of that's happening there, buddy. Alright, so we're just going to hit the A2 onto the Necrit. That's not great. That's really not great. Uh, maybe I should just open up with the A1 onto the Kandrafon there. The reaction proc, they really got me. Having no Necker to protect my crew Traxa is definitely going to be a problem. We do have two res champions, though, which could serve me well. No increased attack for them, though that A2 from Candy is about to do some work. That is for certain. Okay, perfect. So now, I think I go in for this A3 onto the Necrit, which should kill him. The Candy's going to cut in and kill my Duchess here, unless it's two weak hits. May not be a massive issue because we do have Uko to res. He could definitely kill the Uko. Okay, he doesn't go for any of that. Sweet. So here, I could go for the Rotos. I don't think I take him 50% HP. There's no way, right? 
If I just go ahead and hit him, I'll take his shield off. Maybe. No, wait. No. How do you get an extra turn? I didn't touch his HP at all. Huh. What's going on there? He shouldn't have gotten an extra turn, right? Interesting. Either way, it doesn't really matter ultimately because uh, it is what it is. The game does what it does. I thought in order for Rotos to get an extra turn, you had to take at least 50% of his HP or just do a chunk of his damage. Obviously, he's going to block that. So this fight went out, went differently than I expected for sure. Maybe we can get some stuns. That'd be sweet. Oh, no. No stuns for me because unfortunately, the stuns don't seem to land when I'm using it. But whenever the enemies are using it, Stuns all the time. There we go. Extra turn for me, as it should be. Okay. Maybe he got an extra turn from an A1. I don't know. But we did get the extra turn from our Rotos, which is awesome. Drop the Seafy, maybe. Some redemption. There we go. Seafy deleted. She's gone. She's, she's irrelevant now. Probably should have done that at the very beginning of the match, but hey, that's neither here nor there because now we're going into number two. Match number two. Obviously, we got we to gotta do better about keeping our crew tracks of protected. This wasn't a great example. Honestly, I'm not for sure why the Rotos got an extra turn there. You guys can let me know down below if you know exactly what happened. Um, I could probably look back in the replay and figure it out. But I don't think he got it from his A1. Either way, it's neither here nor there because now we're going into the second match. This is where things actually start counting. If I lose this match, well, the video's done. If I win it, which I plan on winning, then we're going to continue the video. Once again, going with the crew tracks a pick 1305. It's pretty, I mean, relatively low rank compared to 1496. Actually, he's just now in silver. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Duchess pick at the beginning. Duchess or Necrit? Duchess, Necrit, or Sifi? Possibly Uko or Pythion. Okay, Mithrala. You don't see her pick very often. So now we're going to go for the crew tracks to pick. Like I said, we gotta go go tr crew tracks at every time. Honestly, if the Canderfon hadn't counterattacked and hit my crew tracks so hard, that last match may have been okay, cause she hit Canderfon very hard, just with her A two. The A one I think does even more damage than that A two ability. Granted, there was reaction procs, but there was a re reaction proc on that skill. So now we have a Madam Saris and a Pythion. You don't see many Madam Saris, but here, I'm gonna go. Rhodos plus Necrit, once again, the exact same thing. Um, actually, let's go Rhodos and we'll go Uko here. Just, I, I don't, don't love crutching on Necrit super hard. So if he goes Rhodos, or if he goes another single target damage dealer, I can go UDK. There we go, we got a Rhodos pick. So now I'll go UDK. So at this point... I can kind of go, as far as the bands, Mithral is going to cleanse. I'm not super worried about that. She's going to place a Hex, which isn't going to be great. Not going to be awful. But if I just ban their Pythion, they have no res, right? And I just work them down. My Rotos should be okay, even against an Eryx doing tons of counterattacks. Duchess, that was, a, that was a good ban on his part, definitely. But... I think UDK is the one that he just had to go, right? I, I could be completely wrong. I could just be not at all knowing what I'm talking about. Granted, they the Mithrala... Okay, so she's definitely going to just cleanse his first turn. Um, I could go for the A2 and maybe strip the stone skin, possibly get a stun. But to be honest, it's not going to matter. So my champs are faster than his. So we have the Hex on my champ, which is not good at all. But maybe we can snipe down this... Madam Saris. I bet I can. There we go. Sweet. And now maybe get lucky with the Hex and kill the Rotos as well. And then it's GG's. Okay. Even with the Hex proccing, not a big deal. And then Rotos can come in, smack the Eryx, probably kill her because he can do some serious damage. And then strip some stuff off of the Mithrala. Bada bing, bada boom. The opponent left the battle. And that is one to one now. That's what I like to see. That is definitely what I like to see. Let's maybe make this two to one. That'd be pretty sweet. Make me look like not a complete noob when it comes to live arena. All right, so let's see. Now we're going to probably get matched with somebody here who is 1,500 or above because that's what it seems to happen. When you're in silver two, you get you get matched, I think, ideally with people in the same point bracket as you. 1502. 1501. Okay, like I said, sometimes if they can't find a match fast enough, you get matched with somebody in silver one, though. 
And I've actually been matched with somebody 1,700 points as well. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, there we go. That's what I like to see. Duchess pick number one. What a surprise, right? What a surprise. So 1502 versus my 1501. The points don't really mean that much. I mean, his win rate could be 90% and I'm about to get demolished. Or his win rate could be like, I think 40 something percent and you can still climb, which is going to be a painful climb, super painful climb. So Duchess and Necrit, not giving too much away yet, kind of keeping his cards to his chest, to himself, not showing much. So here, what I want to go is, I want to go Crutraxa. Now, in my head, it's Uko Sifi or UDK Necrit. Those champs are the ones that I'm kind of, you know, debating between. So let's go Crutraxa. And then let's go Sifi. This is kind of taking my Uko and taking him out of the equation, though. So at this point, I kind of want to ban that Duchess. So I need to have um, UDK ready to be played, though he'll probably save his Rotos to the very end. If he plays a Sifi here, I'm going to expect a Rotos. Whenever you're the, I guess, second person to pick and you get this one last slot, this is an excellent counter slot. So you can start playing your UDK, you can play your Rotos, you can play your champions that either counter the opponents or your champion that the opponent can't counter anymore, who could be fairly easily countered, like Rotos. Great champion to save for that very last pick. My last two picks are a little bit... I don't know, I gotta be more careful with him, I guess. Depending on what he does. If he plays Rotos here, then yeah, okay, both his damage dealers, sweet. So here, I'm probably just gonna get rid of the Georgia. I wanna bring a champion with some big shields, so we're gonna bring... We're going to bring our dude Necrit and then Rotos. I can almost guarantee that the match is going to be banning the um, banning the Rotos, and then I'm left with these four champs, which honestly is perfectly fine with me. He's probably going to pick UDK. That's okay. I don't really care that much about UDK because my Crutraxa, assuming he doesn't ban her, which he might, can just completely ignore him. Do I really care about Leoris? I don't think I do. I... Georgia is just, he's just a dangerous champ. He is a dangerous champ for sure. He's not very tanky though. If I had an AoE damage dealer, I don't think I'd care about him. But even with Stoneskin Seafy, he can just ignore it. UDK, of course, he did good. He saved his uh, counter pick to the very end. Part of me wants to just get rid of the Duchess and then just work down his champs. Um, does his Georgia one-shot me? I really don't think so. I really don't think so. No increased attack. We're going for it, guys. Well, uh, if, if I got no crew track, if I got no crew tracksa, then Rodos is definitely not getting past that Georgia. Does he ban crew tracksa though? He doesn't. That may have been the best play. Had I banned the Duchess, he wasn't going to get through the crew tracksa. Duchess would one hundred percent be able to eat just, or crew tracksa could just eat right past that UDK. Not a big deal. His team gets wiped. This is going to be a little bit more sketchy, but I think the pick I did. May have been the best overall, possibly. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes in these matches. We are going to buff up, though, of course. And then maybe we... I can I almost guarantee we just get rid of this Duchess's shield. Okay, not quite, but it was fairly close. We're going to use the A3. We got so many turns to work down this UDK anyways. It's not going to matter. Um, we're going to go ahead and use this A2. The sooner we get Duchess down, the better it's going to be. Ideally, before the Necrit goes. Okay. Oh, I usually go the A3 here, but I think we just go A1 with the Necrit and get rid of the Duchess. Boom. Two hits onto the Duchess. We're good. So now we just got to hope this Leoris, who's full HP, doesn't wipe my team, which is not very likely, to be fair. Um, so Crutraxa. Excellent, excellent UDK counter. If you have her and you haven't built her, maybe you should consider it. Because like I said, like I said her stuff just ignores it. Now, I would rather use this A2 once his he actually takes a turn, so there's no reaction procs. I do want to use it, but I want to wait just a little bit. I really need to get this Duchess into some better situation, because this, this uh, Necrit is going to start making it a little bit sketchy for me. We'll go the A1 and hope... Actually, no. I think I just have to do the A2. Uh, no, A1's okay. If we get an extra turn, the A3 will come back sooner. Um, now here, let's go into the A2. I really want the A3 to happen. Okay, perfect. So now the A3, we can protect the Duchess. The Rotos, he's going to be pretty safe, I'd say. He has the uh, Ward of the Fallen plus a little bit of a baby shield. Okay, good. 
So, um, here. A1 again. I guess really is my only option. We may be able to knock this shield down. If not, we still get an extra turn anyways, so it's all good. Got rid of the Necrit. Perfect. The UDK, he's, he's going to be a problem. Like, I really need to... Like, I really need to save him. I need to kill him. I can't kill the Leors until the UDK is dead. Because the UDK is... Or the... The Leors needs to be saved until my Rotos can hit him. Because my Rotos can block Revive. Well, ignore his unkillable, better yet. Gotta go in for the big A3. Maybe get a crit. Okay, no crit. We got a res from Duchess. The, the Leors has already used his A3, I think, and his A2. Like I said, I'm not really that worried about the Leo. He's probably gonna just kill Rotos here. Full HP Leo is... Fairly manageable, in my opinion. This is not great. So we just, we take his HP to nothing. Either way, whatever we do here. So. His HP is nothing. I would have, I should have used the, was the A2 even up? I don't think it was. So here, let's try to kill this UDK. If we can kill him, it's going to be excellent. Didn't quite get the kill on him. We can decrease attack on the Leoris, though, right? Yes, yeah, got the decrease attack. Not as worrisome. Not as threatening. There we go. Perfect. A2. We left the match. Beautiful. That was a little bit sketchy. I know I was talking a whole lot throughout the fight, but hey, guys. We're 2-1. and one. So far, so good. Kutraxa, doing work. The, uh, the Leo, I was trying to really balance going for him, killing him, because my Kutraxa can definitely work him down fast. That unkillable, though, when he's... At 1% HP, he's going to hit pretty daggone hard. So Duchess once again. Guys, Duchess 10x going right now. If you pulled Duchess, congrats. Super, super awesome champion. Let me know. Did you pull for Duchess? Did you get her? I kind of doubt you got her if you went for her. But hey, stranger things have happened, I guess. All right. So this is probably where the video ends. We have a Harima and a Warlord. Absolute nightmares. I hate both those champions with passion. Uh, we're going to go Krutraxa though. Once again, right? Like, that's the whole point of the video. So, Krutraxa and Necrit, I believe. Actually, hmm, yeah, Krutraxa plus Necrit. I say that, but in a way, I kind of want to bring... I kind of want to leave space for a potential UDK. Because if he does Rotos too, then I really need UDK in this spot instead of Necrit. Maybe. Honestly, don't even, not even, not even going to worry about it. Krutraxa is also very bad against Harima. I just realized that. Duchess is too. So he's actually pretty hard countering my team. Harima can't be crit by Krutraxa. Granted, Krutraxa can still just damage straight through Harima. Like, it's not really the end of the world. If he does a Rotos here, he probably wouldn't until the end. I guess we'll see in a second. I always assume Harima's a damage dealer. Because a straight support champion, she, okay, there we go. Got the Rotos pick. So, he has Force Affinity Champion, so not super enticing for me to actually bring Rotos, to be honest. I go UDK. And then, honestly, I don't have very many champs who can go against a Rotos very well. Is my Kandrafon geared? He's kind of geared. He's also missing a lot of stuff. This is actually pretty bad because I, I kind of have to go this Rotos, honestly. Which I really hate this so much. Because he just goes UDK. Makes my life a nightmare. But actually, is my Valkyrie geared? I forget. Did I did I gear her? This is this is sketchy. Uh let's see. Actually, I have no way to even check it. I was moving gear around for Goffred earlier. I don't think she's geared. I really don't think she's geared at all. Dang, this sucks so much because Goffred's geared or Valkyrie's geared. This is the part of being a content creator that I um I need to get better at. Get better at remembering this stuff. If I would have went Rotos here, he just goes UDK, and then my life's miserable. Hopefully he bans Valkyrie, honestly. So I'm banning Warlord 100%. Please, oh, don't ban her. Don't ban her. She's the only champion I actually really wanted. Um, I may just have to leave this match. My Valkyrie's not geared. We're just going to count that as a um, 
I don't know, Mulligan, count, count, go again. That doesn't count because Valkyrie 100% should be geared. But I have nowhere to check. My RSL helper is not popping up with this Valkyrie. I guess we're going to find out shortly. This is going to be a long fight, though, that's for sure. She got a counterattack, so she at least has accessories. This is going to be a long fight. Very, very long fight. But if we can kill the Pythion, we're probably okay, right? Oh, we're not killing nobody. I'll go ahead and say that right off the bat. We're not killing anybody. Is there any way to see if my Valkyrie is geared? Oh, I bet you there is. Let me go to the Artifact Extractor real quick, the Hell Hades Optimizer. We're going to pull this up. Got some questions real quick. Possibly. No, we'll click the Pythion. The targeting in the Live Arena has been a little bit weird, it seems. All right, so the Artifact Extractor is up. We'll update it real quick. Update. I mean, we're doing some decent damage to the Pythion. I think over time, we could possibly win. Though the Kaimar did strip my UDK, which is not ever a good sight to see. If Valkyrie was actually built, though, she would definitely, I think, be able to do this. Because she is doing good hits against the Pythion. She's actually doing better than I expected, honestly. So champions, Valkyrie. Uh, yeah, yeah, she is geared, apparently. Sweet. That wasn't a terrible decision. So 224 speed. She's 224 speed, 285 crit damage, 5700 defense. I guess I put the gear back over to her. Awesome. So now we just leave it on auto, select the Pythion, and hope that he eventually dies. Once he dies, the rest of the team's going to fall relatively quickly, to be honest. Because, I mean, they're not going to have anything else to do. Like, they're just going to have the Rotos. They have no, no res champions besides the Pythion. So once he goes down, I think we're in a good spot. All the buffs he does, Valkyrie's getting turn meter, reducing their turn meter. So it's super annoying for him, 100%. But he's healing a lot, which is the downside. The UDK. Maybe I should build crit damage on my UDK. Oh, sweet. So Valkyrie's actually doesn't even have um, increased defense because we have Duchess. So had my Valkyrie had increased defense, she'd be doing even better. Dang, but Pythion, he's, uh, he's topping up his HP pretty quickly. I wonder if we could work down this Harima instead. Make him have to use his res sooner or something. Start getting those reses off. Because I don't know if he's uh, counterattacking from these abilities, but I bet you we could work down the Harima. She's not super tanky. The Kaimar, though, kind of needs to be killed as well. Oh, I take that back because Kaimar's going to gonna die because he does AoE on everything. So he's going to keep getting counterattacked over and over and over. All right, guys, something interesting happened, and he just left the match. I guess he's fed up with the Valkyrie being so slow, or this match being so slow. He's like, screw it. I ain't trying to deal with that UDK nonsense. Let's actually go in here and see if my Valkyrie was geared. I really hope she kind of wasn't, actually. There she is. She is geared sweet. So this is her gear. 5,500, 224 speed. Actually pretty good. She did better than I expected, to be honest. Um, nice. There we go. We're uh, 1, 2, 3, and 1. So at least we don't look like complete noobs at this so far. Um, unfortunately, though, that Valkyrie. I'm glad she was. I'm glad the UDK didn't get banned. Had he got banned, then the Rotos definitely would have been able to work me down. Granted, we also would have had Crutraxa, which would have made that quite a bit different as well. So we're gonna start off with a uh, good old Duchess plus Crutraxa once again. This is fun. This is fun. The matches feel like they're more higher stakes, basically. I do. I do like this. It's kind of cool. So Duchess Crutraxa versus Duchess. So we're going to have the very last pick. Let's save that for Rodos or UDK. Probably Rodos. Marichka plus a Ronda. So Ronda's a really good champion, of course. Probably a Taras coming. I hate Taras. Um, Valkyrie? Do I, I kind of want to throw her in here, to be honest. I kind of want to tr throw her in as another damage dealer option. Except for the fact that she's weak to Ronda. 
we have buffs coming from Duchess. Uh, we'll do a showcase on her at another time. Uh, so right here, let's throw in Rhoda. Or, um, ah, I could do Rhodos, but he's going to do UDK plus somebody else. But I, I kind of want Rhodos. I actually really want Rhodos. I don't really care about UDK with Crutraxa. And if he bans my... Well, if he bans my crew tracks and I keep Rotos, I guess in that case I really do care about UDK. So here, Rotos and Mighty Uko. So I could go UDK. If I do that, then he's just gonna um, ban my Duchess and I have no increased attack, no res champion, nothing. Necrit plus. I don't think I go UDK. I think I go Seafy. I lose the increased attack though. So I think I go here. Duchess makes them lose increased attack, plus they lose the res champion, and they lose the veil, which is gonna keep that Rhonda safe. My crew tracks can 100 percent go through the Rhonda. Okay, so we'll put Seafy in the front. Maybe mitigate the strips from the Uko. We have Seafy strip or um, cleansing the Rotos. I think my team is in a better position than theirs, but it's only time's gonna tell, tell right? Hopefully my Seafy's faster than their Uko. She's not, unfortunately. Um, wait, is there, who's going? Okay, I thought it was a Ronda. I'm like, yo, how fast is that Ronda? What in the world? So Uko, A2, probably gonna be used. People love using the A2 first all the time. My Rotos, if he goes first, we're just gonna go with the A2 on the Ronda. Actually, can he kill her? She probably has a pretty thick shield, to be honest. But I may have to try. Yeah, let's try. There we go. We got her. Sweet. All right, so from there, we're going to actually try to... I want to start ramping my Rotos up a little bit. My uh, my Crutraxa can 100% kill her, though. Kill him. So actually... Oh, didn't get anything. The extra turn. I didn't know that could happen from the shield. It's frustrating. I should have hit the Marichka, I guess. Not a big deal, though. Wasted his A2. Sweet. So we both wasted our A2s. Basically, if we don't hit into the HP, we don't get the HP stolen, so then our A2 is more or less wasted. So, not great situation, but I guess it is what it is. Okay. So now we just... We can sleep the... Marichka. And then we... A2... On the Marichka. Honestly, I could A1 her too. That'd be actually potentially viable. But actually, let's just use the A1 on the Rotos. Doesn't kill her. Wow. Uh, or him. I 100% expected it to kill her. Him. What, what's going on here? It's a him. All right, what's Rotos going to do here? Is he going to try to kill my Crutraxa? I bet he does. He probably will too. Okay, even through the Necrit protection, which I didn't expect anything different. It, Necrit's the best option. Necrit going with his A2, he'll steal some HP and start to snowball his Rotos. See? Very good, very good choice. But, I'm going to protect my Rotos. Maybe eight, oh, no, no A3, unfortunately. Unless we had an extra turn, which I did not. There's no reason to res her. We'll just sleep Rhonda. No reason to res Crutraxa into being killed by Rhonda, right? That'd be basically pointless. That's not great. That's actually pretty terrible, to be honest. Okay, that that match, I think, was, and was uh, mostly just my mistake. I think I should have used Crutraxa's A2 into her A1 on the Marichka, because the Marichka was... Well, I, I don't think I could have killed her. It may have been close... But I don't think I could have killed her. Yeah, definitely. I really doubt that I could have killed her. Um, that was GG's though. That was a good game. Good game for sure. Rhonda didn't get anything done. Rotos got a lot off. Um, there, I picked the the Necrit when I maybe should have held off a little bit longer for the UDK possibly. Uh, but hey, it's awesome. There we go, guys. That is a 31 minute match. 31 minute video, I mean. We have a, a three wins and two losses total. So there we go. Crutraxa, she can definitely do some damage. She's a champion, though, who you do need, do need to have protected because if she's not protected, she's going to die pretty easily, unfortunately. I mean, that's most damage dealers, right? 
most tanky glass cannon champions are going to die if they're not protected. But with ally attacks, Cardiel, Necrit, she is going to hit so incredibly hard. So maybe a champion worth taking out of your vault, giving her a shot. Let me know what champions you guys want to see in this I lose, I quit video series. I'm thinking about doing Constantine very soon. He's a very awesome champion. Uh, but yeah, let me know who you want to see next. Thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next video.